you so much for joining us. I'm Faith Jesse. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. Tonight, Atlanta police are investigating after a mother was killed this week near Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta. Now, this is the victim. She's Courtney Reese. Tonight, her family is devastated and as her family is already dealing with another loss, her sister, also a victim of gun violence just months ago. 11 Lives, Erica. So these two sisters were gunned down within a, a, a couple of month period. Wow. That is crazy. Blackistan is a strange place. But Cleveland, this is um Young Thug's territory. Believe, believe <laughs> She's Courtney Reese. Tonight, her family is devastated, and as her family is already dealing with another loss, her sister, also a victim of gun violence just months ago. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy, live from the neighborhood on the city's southeast side, where this happened. And Erica, we're hearing this story. It is absolutely devastating. What are you learning about it? It is very devastating for everyone who lives over here. You can't see it, but we are standing in, in front of a barber shop, the Cleveland Avenue barber shop. And the barbers there tell me that this young mom used to bring at least one of her children here to get his hair cut. Now, on Tuesday night, the family of this 32 year old mother of four was forever changed. On Springside Drive, a hooded man gunned down this woman just a quarter of a mile from here. Recently, it's been so much violence against women. It's like we just they're just being unprotected. Atlanta police recently they're being unprotected. <laughs> women are being unprotected. It's been so much violence against women. It's like we just they're just being unprotected. Atlanta police responded to Springside Drive on Tuesday night just before nine to find Reese suffering from gunshot wounds. A ring cam video is now making its way through social media, appearing to show the moment her life was taken. Violence interrupter Dr. Travis Barber says the area where she was killed is no stranger to him. I know everything about Cleveland and I lost a cousin over there as well. As, as well as some friends. Hearing about Reese's slaying is concerning to Barber. It's no control over the gun laws. It's no control over the mental health patients. It's everybody's just going around like it. we're in the wild, wild west. Fellow community member Paulette Smith lost her son to gun violence and knows firsthand what this family must be going through. There's a family that's here that's ripped apart. Kids don't have a mom. So we as the community, Fat Mothers Against Gang Violence, we are here to wrap around their family. Man. Yeah, it was safe in the wild, wild west, man. Hey. Now, we did reach out to APD to find out if there are any updates on this case. We have not heard anything from them yet. But what we do know is that the family of this young mother has set up a GoFundMe to raise money for her burial costs. We do have a link to that. Now, another GoFundMe. Another GoFundMe. Another GoFundMe, man. Damn, they got her. They got her. Um, they got her homicide on Ring Doorbell, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give it to y'all, man. They they got her homicide on Ring Doorbell. This is crazy. This fool killed her right on a ring doorbell, man. I'm going to put the the homicide is, um, wow. That shit is crazy, man.
Yo, that nigga executed her. Yo, that was crazy. Did you see that video I just shared? Yo, where's the outrage for that? Where's the outrage for that? Yo, no outrage for this? Holy shit. That nigga, the gun was jam. He he sat there and fixed the gun. I think the gun was jammed. And he had to fix it. And then he shot her. Yo. Wow. Wow. That was a brutal murder, yo. Jeez. That was Cleveland Avenue. That's in that's that's um in, in Atlanta. That's a rough neighborhood. That's where Young Thug is from. Cleveland, Cleveland um, Avenue in Atlanta. Woo! Man. She went out. Sister got killed earlier a few months ago, and then she just went out like that. Jeez. And it just walked off. And we tried it. He, he tried it off. Wow. I just put it in the chat, man. That was bananas, my nigga. But it just shows you the callousness, how niggas can just kill. Niggas don't care, man. They don't care. Afternoon and welcome to 11 Alive News at 4. I'm Jonathan Martin. And I'm Faith Jesse. Thanks so much for being here with us. Atlanta police are investigating after a mom was killed this week near Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta. The family of Courtney Reese devastated after her sister was also a victim of gun violence just months ago. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy has our top story today. She's joining us live from the neighborhood on the city's southeast side. Uh, just to emphasize that devastation, Erica, this has got to be such a hard story for that area. What are you hearing from people over there? Definitely devastating for the people who live in this area. Courtney was just 32 years old and she was caring for four young children when her life was cut short on Tuesday. Just here off of... They out here killing moms of four. That woman got four kids and nigga don't care, man. Nigga don't care about them kids, nothing. He just... No, her sister got killed a few weeks ago, a few months ago, whatever. No, she got four kids and still just dumped on her ass. Doom, doom. Yo, take the five dollar challenge, man. We we haven't had we had we've had a very low amount of people taking the five dollar challenge this week, man. Please take the five dollar challenge. Please support the channel. Salute to um, Van Ham. He says, speak the op, the word, church. Yeah, man. Salute to you, man. This shit right here is, that, that was a rough video, though, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. 
the callousness. I mean, the they just kill, man. Niggas just shoot girls and shit, man. This stuff is crazy, man. It's rough, man. Um, old, and she was caring for four young children when her life was cut short on Tuesday, just here off of Cleveland Avenue and Springside Drive. Police say they were called out to the 39 Springside Drive Southeast just before nine o'clock. They found Reese suffering from several gunshot wounds and she succumbed to those injuries. Um, police say that there is now a uh, short ring cam video that is showing the exact moment that her life was taken. We can't show you that video because it is simply just too graphic, but it does show a man shooting her multiple times after police, after Reese appears to plead with him. We spoke with a group here in the Cleveland Avenue neighborhood who works with families affected by violence. They think that they are seeing an increase in violence against women in this area. Recently, it's been so much violence against women, and it's like we just they're just being unprotected. There's a family that's here that's ripped apart. Kids don't have a mom. So we, as the community, Mothers Against Gang Violence, we are here to wrap around that family. Because when that happens to you, I know personally, because it happened to me, you need support for everything. Now, we have reached out to APD several times for an update in this case. We have not heard back from them yet, but we do want to say that the family of Miss Reese has created a GoFundMe to help raise money for her burial costs. We do have a link to that fundraiser on our website. That's 11alive.com. Woo, man. Local 10 News starts right now. And right now at 5.30, a break in the case. A person who shot and killed a woman, then threw her out of a car, is now behind bars. This happened back in March. Police tell us the suspect and the 21-year-old victim were arguing at a house party before those fatal shots were fired. Local 10 Samir Nefsi joining us live outside of the Hallandale Beach Police Headquarters with an update. Samir. Eden Omar Simpson was arrested last night by police. Now today would have marked the 22nd birthday. What's up with black dudes named Simpson, man? And women, man. That's crazy, man. If your daughter dated a dude named Simpson, man, you got to watch out, man. Mark Simpson was arrested last night by police. Now today would have marked the 22nd birthday for the victim who was gunned down after things took a wrong turn after a party. I just want justice. In fact, damn. And her stripper fit. She was wearing her stripper fit. Five months after waiting, justice now on the horizon. Mr. Simpson, you are here pursuant to a warrant. The charge is first degree premeditated murder with a firearm. I do find probable cause. 21 year old Omar Simpson facing a Broward County judge accused of murdering Makisha Johnson in March of this year. Your Honor, based on the nature of the charge, I am asking that Mr. Simpson be held no bond. This video captures her final moments. Inside the vehicle, Johnson was shot and then thrown out of the vehicle along Pembroke Road. The vehicle seen here crashing into a tree. Two people captured running away. She was shot in the... Yo, these niggas are savages, man, out here, man. No outrage. No outrage, no... No, like, and I'm not even saying you should protest in March, but God damn, man, like, something. This shit is wicked, man. And these niggas bodying chicks like this, man. Streets must be hell right now, man. Johnson was shot and then thrown out of the vehicle along Pembroke Road. The vehicle seen here crashing into a tree. Two people captured running away. She was shot in the chest and in the arm and thrown out the vehicle face down. Through a lot of hard work and very, very diligent detectives, we were uh, able to arrest the person responsible for this. Uh... Salute to the 
salute to the um detectives man that were able to find this guy man he was just walking around them niggas did that shit and they were just walking around the last five months man just chilling that's the thing about Blackistan. You never know who you sharing a space with. You never know who you are standing next to on the bus. You never know who you passing in the street. You never know who's in the car next to you in Blackistan, man. It could be very well be a nigga who just did some shit like this. Salute to LRLRS, Big Larry the Building, man. Yeah, but it don't got to be politically convenient. It could just be like just uh, the, the fam, just the community. Like, I'm not even talking about politics. I'm not saying the Democratic National Convention need to put these chicks up on the summer jam screen. All I'm saying is that, like, the community, man, fuck a balloon release. Where's the goddamn, like, a different response, man? Like, this shit is crazy, man. These niggas just whacking broads and broad daylight. Like they niggas, man. And listen, I've been there, man. Oh, I've wanted to kill a broad so many times, man. You know, you in relationships or you just dealing with broads and it just they make you so mad. I, I've been there. I get it. But God damn, man. These niggas actually doing it. And very, very diligent detectives. We were uh, able to arrest the person responsible for this uh, this heinous crime. Simpson is said to have met Johnson at a party in Hollywood on March 5th. It was there an argument broke out over stolen items. When Johnson's life was threatened, oh. her sister told us she had nothing. Stolen items. So they went to a house party and some sun man shit came up. Miss, oh, yeah. Sun man gonna hold court right there, man. <laughs> I've been there, man. I've been there. Bitches do steal your shit at, at, at like, but some man will, will get it wrong. Some man will accuse the wrong person several times, man. Some, I mean, a lot of times. Some men are not good detectives, man. It's just, they don't have good judgment, so it's like they they're not gonna be good detectives. I I could see some. I could I could believe. That their stuff got stolen, and I could believe that they accused the wrong person. I could believe both of them. I could believe their stuff got stolen, and I could believe that they accused the wrong person. Responsible for this uh, this heinous crime. Simpson is said to have met Johnson at a party in Hollywood on March 5th. It was there an argument broke out over stolen items. When Johnson's life was threatened, her sister told us she had nothing to do with the situation. She was an innocent victim whose life was just just taken just taken away. <laughs> As she's smiling and shit. What the fuck? Is no tears. No tears. <laughs> These some strange, strange puppies, man. <laughs> Damn. Sister told us she had nothing to do with the situation. She was an innocent victim whose life was just, just taken, just taken away. As for the man accused of taking her life, Mr. Simpson, we are going to continue to hold you no bond. All right, and I had a chance to speak to Simpson's defense attorney earlier. She says her client is innocent and believes that'll be evident. Once more facts come to light, as for the investigation, it's still very much ongoing. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Broward County Crime Stoppers. Their number, 954-493-TIPS. Shit. Yo, this is crazy. Like, not one activist goes and tries to make a political point. Nothing. What a strange community. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. They um, they whacking, bro. You see the? Did you see the video? The one in the land? Yeah, that that was disturbing. She was pleading. She was crying, saying, "Don't do it." And he still did it. It just trotted off into the night. That nigga ain't care if a squad car might have been in the area. That nigga just like 
listen, man, these niggas different, man. They they, they don't care like they're like if uh, ring door, they don't think about nothing, they just kill. That that's kind of like how they get away with it because they don't think about like planning and nothing, they just do that shit and there's no motive, there's no it's kind of hard to um you know what I'm saying, figure them out because they just do that shit. Yeah, it's no thinking about it, just yeah, instant. They're good soldiers. Yeah, these dudes are. Yeah, to be able to blow a girl's head off in broad daylight, I mean broad nightlight, but just in 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 in, in like you know in open spaces and shit. That shit is crazy, man. Let's head to the West Valley where Glendale police say they caught a.